I drag my parents in. I play here the whole day with my dad and mom. It's amazing. Gears move the world. Here, they move my mind. It's the engine in my dad's car. I can see the inside working. I can look through my own eyes. My iris contracts in light and dilates in darkness, like an automatic camera. I can float and control this ball in air, just like an aeroplane. It swings and swings and swings. and makes a pattern that repeats again and again. It's a kind of pendulum. I generate colorful patterns. Wonderful. I like it. And the Moire pattern. The beauty and the wealth of an Indian forest. Soft chirping of birds and murmurs of leaves. I can hear them. We can witness the latest advances in science and technology. The radio telescope in Uti, designed and built by Indian scientists, is the largest in Asia. We can hardly wait to see it. We run! No glass case exhibit. No touch me not nonsense. The children jump and thump all around the place. They explore. They discover. The young and the old, everybody is deeply involved. Participation, more participation and much more participation by the toddlers, teenagers, parents and senior citizens. to play with toys here, fiddle with gadgets, open up things and reassemble. Science parks with hands-on outdoor exhibits come up everywhere around the Science Museum. Playful exhibits match the lush green landscape. Sympathetic pendulum. The girl swings vigorously. The motion is transferred to the swing of the boy. He picks up gradually and she slows down. The girl almost stops. Now, the boy slows down 
and the girl picks up again. The boy almost stops and the sequence goes on. I turn faster on this rotating platform. I push the weights away. I slow down. I pull the weights nearer. I turn faster. The platform moves east-west. The funnel swings north-south. The sand pattern shows the effect of a compound pendulum. The moment of inertia wheels. The Möbius band in Gulbarga. The spider's nest in Tirunel Valley. Swing a quintal in Bhubaneswar. Now, let us get inside the building for a surprise. Believe it or not, this is a planetarium. Carry it to any school hall. Spread it on the floor loosely. Inflate it by an electric fan. The inflatable dome can accommodate 25 persons inside. Getting inside is always a fascinating experience. 75 of such mobile planetaria, developed in the science museums, are on show throughout India. The demonstration is always interactive with audience participation. We have our computer classes in the museum. We are trained to develop software. Hobby centers in science museums provide opportunities for investigative and creative work. Aero modeling is our favorite hobby. Here is a very common compound, hydrogen peroxide. But in case Demonstration of lectures electrify young minds. The chemical itself is very much unstable. We call it a very reacting type of chemical. This pinch of the third thing is potassium iodide crystals. See what happens whenever I add the potassium iodide crystals. Watch.
The detergent powder is helping to make the foam. School teachers are trained to make inexpensive teaching aids to build up their own laboratory. Science seminars for school students kindle our imagination. 28th February is the National Science Day in India. Children and adults join in a science march to create awareness on pollution, environment and subjects pertaining to everyday life. The People's Science Movement took a new turn with science marches across the length and breadth of the country. Voluntary science organizations joined hands with science museums. This is a demonstration to fight superstition. Levitation is no magic. Mysteries of fire eating are solved by science. A dance drama to explain the spectrum of colors. Everything is a part of the people's science movement. We love trees. We protect trees. We carry out tree mapping of the cities. And we put name plates on our trees. One way of reaching the people in the deep rural interior is by sending out such mobile science exhibition buses. Twenty such buses are continuously on the move. Each bus holds an exhibition for three days in a place and moves on to another place. In a village school, the bus is always received with great excitement. Exhibits are demonstrated sometimes by teachers,
and sometimes by young students themselves who are specifically trained. Farmers are trained in making agricultural tools for cultivation. in water management, compost pit making, and in handicrafts based on local raw materials. District science centers train rural people in making mud bricks, in processing of natural fibers for handicrafts, and in marketing of their products. Such district science centers are now located in Purulia in the east, Thirunel Valley in the down south, Gulbarga at the central zone, the National Council of Science Museums is running a chain of science centers in Calcutta, Bangalore, Bombay, Delhi, Patna, Lucknow, Bhubaneswar, Nagpur, Guwahati, Purulia, Gulbarga, Dharampur, Tirunel Valley, and developing new centers at Bhopal, Tirupati, Calicut and other places. More than five million people visit science museums in India every year from all walks of life. I love science museums. I come here quite often. So my Sunday you look at the I love science museums. 